Hello, YouTubers. I have a lot of these old mainframe memory cards um, that I want to scrap for the gold they contain. These memory chips, there's 36 on each side, and there's two of these big flat pack memory controller chips on each side. And there's two connectors, and the connectors have gold pins in them. So between the gold in the bond wires on the memory chips, the gold in the flat pack memory controller chips and the gold in the pins over here. There's a lot of gold on these boards. I've already processed some. I bought a whole pile of them off of eBay really cheap. I think I bought all of them that were available because I bought the first bunch, processed them, saw how much gold was in them, and I went back and I bought every other one that the seller had. So I think I got them all unless the seller comes up with more. So there's a fair amount of gold here. Um, especially in these, these flat pack chips here, not only do they have a lot of gold bond wires in them, some of the internal framework parts are gold plated. And there's a big copper heat sink right there too. So um, you could scrap out a little bit of copper from these things too, as well as the gold that's inside. So I need to depopulate these. I want to take the chips off, I want to take the uh, the connectors off and everything, and I, I want to build a trommel depopulator, basically a, a big circular thing that's going to spin and heat it, and then uh, that will, as the boards clang against each other, it'll knock all the chips off once it gets above the melting point of the solder temperature. I want to build that. It's probably going to be a while before I get around to it, so I've got another method. I've got this big uh, stainless steel wire basket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the boards in it. And I'm going to put this in my kiln with the kiln set to about 400 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to heat everything up and shake the crap out of it. And hopefully I'll be able to depopulate most of the chips that way. I did this the other day and it worked yeah, fairly well. Um, I'll give it another try and film it this time and uh, see how well it goes. So here I am on the back porch. Here's my big kiln. I got several other kilns out here too, but here's my big one. It's preheated to 400 degrees. It's good and hot. There's the basket of cards I'm going to put in it. And um, let me get my gloves on, my heavy duty gloves over there, so I don't burn myself because everything's nice and hot inside. And I'm going to put this basket in, and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's in. Okay, the basket's in. It's in there. I've got a big. Uh, Oh, I don't know what they call those things. The bottom of, uh, of a, I guess it's a water dish for a, a big ceramic pot. I've got that down there to catch the bits and pieces that fall off through, falls through the grid. So I've got the parts in here. I'm just going to let them sit there and soak in the heat for a little while. And then uh, I'll come back and I'll start shaking it. And I'll see, see what parts I can get to fall off. First, I needed both hands to do this, so I couldn't show it to you on film. But I opened it up and I gave it a shake. And most of the chips fell off of you know a couple of the boards that were on the outside and got most of the heat so far the heat hasn't quite penetrated all the boards but just giving it a quick shake almost all the chips fell off these two boards right here on the outside Ooh, it's hot in there you close the door so i'm going to let it sit and soak for a little while longer and then shake it some more and see if i can get some more of the chips to fall off it's working good temperature came down a little bit by having the door open so i'll just uh let it come back up and, and soak in the heat for a while and then come back and shake it again and I'll keep doing this until the boards are all depopulated. I just gave everything another shake and uh, I pulled out a couple of boards that are completely depopulated and they're still hot so I need to be careful how I pick them up here. But absolutely everything has fallen off the board. The connectors have fallen off, all of the ICs have fallen off. Each board had a million little MLCCs on it and a million little chip resistors and there were a bunch of tantalum capacitors. Everything has fallen off. And they're all either in the bottom of the basket or gone through the, uh, the, the holes in the basket down into the, uh, the catch pan at the bottom. So this is really working well. I'm starting to wonder whether I need to bother building the trommel depopulator because uh, this is working really, really well. So... Uh, wait another 10 or 15 minutes and uh, shake it some more. And pull out some more, some more of the boards that are fully depopulated. All right, it's, it's been about another 10 minutes. I came out and shook it and uh, pulled out all but two of the boards. Only two of the boards still had anything on them. All the rest are completely depopulated. They're sitting over here cooling off. 
So I'll give those last two boards a couple more minutes and uh, this process should be done. And it was pretty quick and painless. I may not need that trowel depopulator after all. All right, all 10 boards I put in are fully depopulated. Here's all the uh, IC chips down here in the basket. With the big memory controller chips, bunch of bunch of RAM chips. There's the, uh, the gold-plated connectors are in there. Most of the small stuff, like the, the tantalum capacitors and the MLCCs and, and other stuff are down here in this uh, little catch basin. A few chips made it through, too. So everything's, everything's going to, yes, a few chips went flying over there while I was shaking it. I have to clean this out thoroughly. So everything's cooling down now, kiln's off. Um, these are going to cool down, and then I'll sort them. I'm going to process the chips by type because, like I said, these uh, big memory controller chips here have have a lot more gold in them than the, these RAM chips do. On the other hand, the RAM chips have a lot less packaging to them. So, um, ratio of gold to packaging, I'm not sure which is higher, but uh, I know that I'm going to get a lot more gold from processing those 40... Um, memory controller chips and I am going to get from processing all those RAM chips and then there's gold in the connectors too so so this is this is just a batch of 10 cards I got another batch of 10 cards to do and I did a batch yesterday so I'm gonna get a lot of gold out of this project and uh, this this uh, shaking the basket depopulation method in the kiln worked like a dream I think I'm gonna hold off on trying to build a trommel depopulator for now Thanks for watching.